Corona has revealed some things as we went along and we have seen it in the newspaper and the television also. It was very much in the focus of the migrant workers in India, how massively they were moving from one state to another state, going back home because they have no work, no place to go, live, no income. So why stay here? We better go home, stay with our family, we stay with our children. And moving from one state to another state, they, the harassment they have gone through and the indignities they have suffered and the physical problems they have suffered, everybody saw it and felt extremely sympathetic. Now the question is why people leave their homes to go and work with other, other places. The simple reason, there's no future in the places they live. So they are in search of future, in search of finding a survival strategy for their family, someone going and working someplace and sending some money home. Uh, so that re kind of uh, re uh, brings it out, how our economic policy has been uh, uh, twisted to focus on the urban areas rather than on the rural areas. And the corona system, corona crisis has pushed, uh, clear, made it clear, very clear that we should be we should be looking at where the people live. People live in the rural areas. Vast majority of the population of any of these uh, countries live in the rural areas. But our concentration of all our economic activity in the urban area. So rural people have to live in search of their food, in search of their work to the urban areas. That's not the right kind of uh, economic system we have. And this uh, new uh, thinking new world would be designing a, a, a system which will be creating opportunities for people in the places where they are born rather than to have to go to some place and suffer through all the harassment of living in the slums and uncertainties, unhealthy conditions and so on and so forth. And this is because of the way we build the system the, uh, that all the opportunities are in urban areas. So the institutions will be built exclusively for the rural areas. And I've been arguing that the banks uh, can also be exclusively designed to work in the rural areas. Social business banks like Grameen Bank, microcredit banks should be working in the rural areas, exclusively designed for rural areas. Some may, sound it, uh, some may find it um, uh, kind of uh, uh, strange to do create institutions just for the rural areas. We have done it 42 years back, Grameen Bank. We called it Grameen Bank and really meant it Grameen Bank. And 242 years later, we have more nearly 3000 branches all over the country. Not a single branch of Grameen Bank is created in any urban area of any of the town or the city in Bangladesh. We don't work there. If it is a if it is a municipality, if it is a corporation, if it is a city area, we don't work within that area. So it is exclusively rural area serving the rural people. Once you create exclusive rural institutions, then you understand the problems of the rural people. Today is the urban institution which extends itself to the rural areas, give their version of the economy and try to pull the people out of the rural areas to come and work for the cities. That's not the right thing. The right thing for the institution, institution to solve the problem where it exists. That's where the social business comes in. Social business is designed to solve problem wherever it exists. So we create all these opportunities in the rural areas by creating exclusive rural institutions like banking, insurance companies, uh, transportation companies, everything. It's a, where the entire focus is in the rural areas. This is designed for rural areas. So the question of it's ever trying to pull people out of the rural areas doesn't ex uh, exist because it is work is in the rural area. And uh, so the, our objective would be in the new economy that we want to build, migrant workers, the millions of them who had to come back home will not go back leaving their homes in future. They will stay there where they, and they will have to create opportunities for them. There are plenty of opportunities in the rural areas, but we got so mesmerized by the factories, by the attraction of the city life, 
that we thought that's the only place to live. So we made sure that everybody has to come there. So our young people, when they uh, pass the teenage, they are rushing to the cities for in search of their opportunities because there is no job in the rural area. But the rural areas have plenty of jobs, plenty of opportunities. So this is one area that we have to redesign the financial system, make sure everybody can create their own fortune, living where they are born and transform the economy of the rural people and the places where they live. 